Well, I got the this arm sewed on. I'll show you where I sewed it on at. You see, now on the neck here, you got one, two, three, four, five rows. Well, what I did was I pinched the my arm flat right there because it's the easiest way to do it. And I sewed it on to the the second row up from the bottom there, the second row up from the bottom. I sewed into that. And got that on. So now I'm going to do this side. I pinned it in place over there and started it here. Now while you're sewing it on, you got to be careful not to catch anything. The other part underneath here. It's a little tricky. Okay, I started it there. I'm going to go into this one right here. Get on up into that there. Now, make sure you which stitches you're going into. See, it's tricky because this yarn's all the same color and it's all dark, so it's tricky. I can't tell where I'm at here. Okay, come up over through there. And then, make sure I'm not going up, I'm going to accidentally go up on this other row here. You got to make sure you're staying on the same row. And go up through there. into the next one and go up through there now I'm going to go through that one again so, so we, it helps stabilize it and keep the stitches where they need to be See how I'm going through that stitch there, and then I'm going through them loops right there. Put that stitch right under there, and through those loops right there. I'll go through that one again. Now, go through this one, and up through that, those loops there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and go through that one, that up there. another stitch up through it. Now the last stitch right here. Let me get this pin out of the way. Go into this last one right here. And up through end of it there and go through that again and go under that stitch 
I'm going to go under this stitch right here. Come on. Now I'm going to fashion it off like this. Come on. Go through that. Tie a knot right against that. And then work it through. Guess what? It didn't catch all catch underneath there. Look at that. Well, good thing I saw that now. Show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to catch it now. Go back in there and do this. Whip stitch that in there. Whip stitch it closed. Boy, you have to really watch things sometimes. Whoops. Now I'll do a fashion off stitch here. Let's do this. Go through that one more time like that. Go through this loop twice. Pull it down tight. Tie a knot up against the end of it. Now, run that through there. Fashion, cut it off. There. Now, it's got its arms on. And here's my bottle. Make this stand up some. Let me get it put on the bottle. There. Now, there it is on the bottle. <clears throat> there it is. There's the bottle. Uh, you can you can make the skirt longer if you want to. Just add more rows to this here, or you just do one double crochet and every one around. Just add more rows if you want to make it longer. And the picture shows, see the lace at the top, and it shows a little lace at the bottom. You can do that if you want to. That'll make it look like she's got a, see, it'll make it look like she's got her dress coming up to here. Now what else you could do is when you're, after you sew the head and the neck, you come down the neck just a, a row about to here, then change to your dress color right here. See, instead of your dress starting right here, it'll start up here. Or, you know, you could just take your dress color and sew straps to go over the shoulder so it'll look like a, one of them summer dresses. But 
I'm gonna leave mine like it is, except for one thing I'll show you. I'll show you. I've got this here. I've got this rose here that I crocheted a good while back. And it'll look beautiful on here. I'm thinking I'm going to crochet that, put, maybe sew this rose on here like that. Maybe. Sew the rose on it. And have the green leaves on it. That'll look real pretty with the orange. So you have the leaves coming out from it. Or I could make a smaller rose to put up there by our shoulder. Because this one's kind of big. Yeah, it's kind of big. Yeah, I think a smaller rose would do, would do better. And uh, show you something else. I'll show you something else. Looky there. Googly eyes. I found them. But I cannot find, I cannot find my, my glue gun. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. So I'm going to have to buy another glue gun. I had a bunch of sticks. I had two packages of new sticks. I had some of those expensive ones that's got, uh, some's got wood glue in them and some has got gorilla glue in them. And I don't know where in the world it's at. I've looked through everything three or four times. That's just driving me nuts. I cannot fathom what I, what I could have did with them. It's just driving me nuts. After buying all them expensive glue glue sticks and all that, I've lost it. Anyway, when I get my bear completely done with the, the rolls on it and get the eyes put on it, get these papers put on it, see, that gives you an idea. It's going to look cute. I will show you my finished bear. And I hope that y'all can understand my instructions well enough that you can make you one if you want to. And see how the how it fits. Get it over here. See how it fits. That fits up into the neck. See, that's why that's why I made it to where when I stuffed it, I made it to where that would go in like that. So the neck of the bottle goes into there. And helps stabilize the head. Pick it back up. But that's a cute little doorstop, I tell you. That's a cute doorstop. I like it. That's in memory of Mom's. Mom's doorstop. See there? The head of mine came out square, but it depends on how you sew your inside thing. But that's in memory of Mom's. So there. Maybe she's looking down from heaven and sees it. I don't know. All right, y'all. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.